my body to scoop all the way through and drive where my chest scrapes across the ground. That'll be too aggressive for now, so we're gonna learn the partial version. This is all about creating individual control of each particular vertebrae. We all have a tendency to want to overuse our lower back, and typically speaking, when you're learning this in yoga, they call it the cat and cow, and everything comes at the expense of their lower back doing this. Everything reacts. We obviously don't want that. We want to start creating better T-spine mobility in each particular vertebrae. To get full retraction, we get a scoop to a cobra, and then we can scoop back and do a cat. We're going to do it in a partial position because you can actually make that work. Okay, so this is the partial cobra to cat. When you're starting, I sit back into my heels more or less, and remember I'm going to pull my shoulder blades in. When I'm pulling my shoulder blades in, I'm trying to pull my elbows towards the center of my chest or my spine, and I let my head drop in. The weight's situated on the heels of my hand. What I'm going to try to do is create a curvature or a scoop forward where I keep all those things consistent, and let my lower back drop in, and I look up as high as I can to hit my cobra. As I'm coming out of that, I'm on my fingertips now, I'm going to push my weight from my fingertips back to the heels of my hands, let my hips drop back, now I let my shoulders round towards my ears, my elbows can even flare out, I'm tucking my chin and I'm really trying to tuck my pelvis around my back to my cat. So, full speed, a partial cobra, tension in the feet of course, pushing the knees out, and then our cat.